You're watching Fox 10 Sports with Richard Sides. And away we go. We've seen the promos. We've talked about it for weeks now. It's the Rolling with Richard Super Tailgate Party. This is where I drive around the valley and interview different valley sports legends. So we had to start out with a good one, right? A great guy. So episode one has the hero of game seven of the World Series. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the first episode of the Rolling with Richard Super Tailgate Party. This Super Bowl Sunday will crown a new NFL champion, so why not start off this series with the only guy to bring a world championship to Arizona? Here's our first guest. You ready? Come on out. Hey, oh, let wait. me out of here. <laughs> the let door me out of here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's Luis Gonzalez, everybody. Gonzo. Hey, man. Holy Thanks, moly. <laughs> well, let's give you a lay of the land here. This is a glimpse into my inner nerd. This is my Super Bowl patch collection kit. You can open up to any any page here. You've been now. collecting these, huh? Yeah, so just tell me who played, and I'll, I'll tell you who was the oh, MVP. Oh, okay, we're going to do see. trivia here. Let's see, okay. let's see. Oakland Raiders, Minnesota Vikings. Oakland Raiders, Minnesota Vikings, Super Bowl Eleven. Fred Belitnikoff, MVP. And then if you turn to the next one, Super Bowl Twelve, that is the first Super Bowl that was indoors. Doomsday in the Dome, the Cowboys beating the Broncos. Look, you see what it says, New Orleans Superdome? Who are the MVPs? The MVP, two MVPs, Harvey Martin and Randy White. Co-MVPs, only time they were co-MVPs. That's pretty good. You can't remember anything on the broadcast, but you know all this, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm <Not> impressed. <laughs> First time you've ever impressed me. Yeah, exactly. Because this thing did, definitely didn't impress me. We always want to have a, a meal for our guests. We'll, we got our, our makeshift grill. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll get to that in a second, but this right. is the actual uh, you know, football field thing. So have a seat. Just give us your thoughts on, on hosting another Super Bowl here. Always exciting uh, for the, the city, the state. I mean, it brings a lot of e economic dollars here. And I mean, it's all it all lines up. You got Barrett Jackson, then you go to the waste management, and then you have the Super Bowl. And then after that is spring training. So uh, everything is really lined up good. We've got two exciting teams. Of course, we would have loved to see the Cardinals in it. Right. But, or Purdy, a local yeah, kid, exactly. if he would have had the opportunity to get here. But uh, two really good teams. That's going to be a lot of fun to watch. At that moment when you realize, man, we just won the World Series. We just won <clears throat> the Super Bowl. What is that feeling like? It's incredible. I wish you, I could bottle it up and share it with everybody. Uh, it's life-changing. It's a life-changing moment. I mean, you play your whole life. Uh, in a sport to try to get to that moment. You dream about it as a little kid and to actually find yourself in those moments. I, I mean, I found myself game seven, bottom of the ninth of a World Series. And that's what, you know, when you're a little kid, you, you, you play that scenario out with your buddies or whatever it is, whether it's that or being the quarterback and throwing the game winning right. touchdown or making the free throw or the putt or shooting a, a goal to win a Stanley Cup. You know, the, all those moments you, you always wonder and you sit, I'm a sports fan, you sit on your couch and go, man, what would that feel like? And to actually find yourself in that moment, it was very surreal. What do you think? Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Are you going with Mahomes? Are you going with Hurts? Man, you know, it's hard to go against a guy like Mahomes. I, I think these two weeks are going to help him, you know, heal his uh, ankle up pretty good. But, man, Hurts is kind of a dual threat. It should be a lot of fun. I'm kind of teetering right now. I right. really don't know what direction to go because – you know they're both really well coached teams. It should be a lot of fun. You got a young coach on the on the Philly sidelines, and then you got Reed on the Kansas City sidelines. That it, it should be a lot of fun. It just goes out to however uh, the performance is on in the trenches and on the defense on both sides. Because you know the quarterbacks are going to come out there uh, doing what they're capable of doing, trying to help their team win. Are you hungry? We got some special meal for you. I'm here. scared to see what's in that grill. <laughs> so we got it. Oh, oh yeah. great, perfect. You went all out for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you know. No onions, right? That's no onions. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Thank you. the best for our guys. God appreciate it. <laughs> Who doesn't like Wendy's, right? Okay, special thanks to Luis Gonzalez. I mean, what a great sport and what a great way to start this series off with the greatest Diamondback ever, if you ask me. He was a great first guest. Great way to start things off. Thanks again. To Gonzo. And we keep the momentum going. Tomorrow we talk to a two-time Super Bowl champ in Max Starks, a guy that played against the Cardinals in the Super Bowl, then later played with the Cardinals. So that's coming up on the Roller with Richard Super Tailgate Party tomorrow right here on Fox 10 during the 10 o'clock hour. You're watching the best.